So dad's just um, fixing up the last part now. There you go. That's perfect, that. That would have been awkward. But there we go. Good Tuesday morning. Get the radio quick before they put any music on. Situation. You've done better than yeah. this. I love a pun. If you look at me on social media, I always love a pun. 744 on the text is the roads are paved with gold. 25 past 8. So, got here about 20 to 8. <clears throat> Spent that time cobbling together my hop up. So that's got me to this height. And I've measured 1600 of this. So 1600 to um, a, a, a reasonable lift to do to tend to part the way. But yeah, I'm just getting loaded out now. That's enough bricks to finish this front pillar. I've got the wheelie bin to put my bricks on around the side. I've got my boards stacked up double to get me height. I've got my plank. Uh, I've got till dinner to rattle this up as quick as I can before it's, the rain comes in. So um, I need to uh, crack on. I need to move the tent either that way, that way, or that way. Obviously they're going to bang my head, all lifted up, no, we'll see anyway. Let's get the bricks in and we'll sort the tent out after that. These lads are getting their steels in today and hopefully the skipper will be gone because the skipper is really in the way now, it's in the way of everybody. They can't get the ladder up properly onto the scaffold. Right, let's get loaded out and crack on. Actually, I need to get a mixer on, don't I? I get it mixing while I'm loading out, so uh, mixer first. <laughs> Right, half nine, Jesus, nearly two hours, you don't realise how much stuff, how much goes into setting up, mixes on, boards, on the boards, I've loaded some bricks to get me started, I don't want to be balancing them too high, and lines up, the uh, levels up for me, return, I'm ready to go, I just need to feed that damp in and get up there and get cracking, oh yeah, just put, I've just been up and put, um, that piece of poly across so that's the wall covered now so I should be able to um, should be able to carry on I might put there's another there's a spare piece inside there I might put that there to cover my spot board uh, in fact probably will before the rain gets up because it is spitting now so anyway it's break time now but I'll be having a break I'm gonna um, work through and start with London
Oh. Double checked everything with a laser back to the fascia board over there. So we need to pick five mil up everywhere. That's not a problem. I'm just glad to be cracking on. Should be waterproof. Should be waterproof. We'll see. Might just need to spin that round across for, for myself. But yeah, I'm going to have a drink and a butty. So catch you after break. Oh, it's been a while. I've not got a load done because it's just so awkward. Uh, there you go. We're getting there. We're getting them. Um, one, two, one, two, three, four courses to go. There's our top mark. So all the tyres are done, all the tyres are screwed in, all the tie wires are in. I've just got one more tie wire to put on this top edge here. I've nearly run out of mortar, so I'm just going to throw a quick half mix in again now. Touch wood and some wood. The, uh, the rain's held off so far, which is good, even though I'm all covered up. But I'm going to end up on the other side where I'm not covered up. But uh, yeah, I'm going to take this, this mix should get us to the end of the brickwork if I've got enough bricks. I'll just show you this sand. This is the bottom of the tomb bag. We call it dead because it's, it's got that wet. All the air's gone out of it. So it's bloody awful for mixing with. So what we do is we keep the mix quite dry. So the stuff's tumbling around in the mixer and getting air back into it. Then we wet it gradually. And it seems to work a treat. Um, you just gotta be careful how much water you're putting in because it's it's the water that's causing this. So I'm gonna get this chucked in now and then have a, another another quick break, have a quick lunch and then back at it. Thank you. 
unbelievable. Ten to six, bloody hell. But it's done. Brick wake up. That was hard work. Just such hard work. Um yeah. I had two bricks left over and probably a handful of mortar and no tie wires. <laughs> Wish it always worked like that. But yeah, all sorted. I can come back tomorrow and I'll get on with the block work. The tent's going to be reorganised. It's, it's, it's a bit saggy at the moment, but um, it's just uh, it's there ready for tomorrow. So, um, catch you in the morning. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. Slept in today. I'm sure I set the alarm. Anyway, we're here now. And it's 20 to 10. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel we should left these things in here last night. This and this and then thinking, what they're under the tent if I am. But tents leak, it's just got to run off somewhere. It's arrived straight into here, onto the box. So they're soaked. I don't want to get them dried out with the heat gun. I don't want to move them. And I don't want to, I still want to use them even though they're wet. So, yeah. Yeah, everything else is covered up and dry. So the blocks are still dry. Ish. Really come them yesterday. I picked my sand up from home and yeah, ready to go. Just need to get a mix in. Well, get a mix in and while it's mixing, work out my cuts. Get my cuts done and try and get the, the saw in there somehow and get a cut up there. And I'm not sure what it's going to be like in here after that because I've got, a, I've got a roof up now. Hello again. It's. It's 10. Blocks are starting to dry out. I've worked all the cuts out. Got this area here, I've drawn out on the wall to work it out. And then we've got this side here, which is a bit bigger. But we've got 20, 45 cuts. 45 cuts. And it doesn't count the cuts from the top for the linker. The linker's going to sit on a 150 piece. That wasn't fun. <laughs> Could have just left that because it's rendered, but I just can't help myself. <laughs> oh, what a beast! <laughs> beast! Bit of wet battery now. I soon got rid of the dust. Getting on now. Just that. You've got to cut your screen back. Get your tie wires right. Put your tap. Put your vis uh, Put your DPC down. Make sure all your cuts are right. Get your first course down. Get it down flat. Get all your cuts done in insulation. Now it's like rinse and repeat. This is the quick bit. Oh my God, it's taken a lot of the day up. At least, I've got, at least everything's to hand. It's all on top of me, like. But nice tight beds as well. So with the blocks being a bit damp, it's better having tight beds. So um, we're sorted. You know, all our cuts now. So we'll just crack on and get it up. Back to time lapse.
Okay. Three o'clock. That side's up as high as I can reach. I think it's eight. Two, four, six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Oh, nine. Okay, I'll surprise myself there. Yeah, one to go on the top. And of course, I'll pay for the lintel. Obviously, I need to get the lintel up, which I'll be doing tomorrow. Now, start on the long side and use the motor up. See how far we get. Oh, I feel a lot better now. You know, there's some block in the wall, not just scattered everywhere. Yeah, it's been a tough one today. But we've muddled through as we always do. So, um, yeah, let's get cracking on this bit.
good Thursday the 18th of February morning 29. Uh, got to fields this morning about yeah, for Christmas slip-ons so I can't tie my laces anymore anyway, um, yeah got to fields early this morning just after they opened about quarter to eight and was after the lintel which they didn't have 50 mil lintels are special order now so um 150 cavity are to get hold of because not everyone stocks them yet and 50 more cavity are to get hold of obviously hundreds of the most common now but uh, instead of me chasing around chasing my tail looking for a nook driving around everywhere i would have gone to berries which is over an hour's round trip i thought sod it so i got an angle iron and a 4 by 3 concrete lintel because it's only taking a hit roof so they're adequate for the job picked up an extra couple of blocks and yeah that's it so I'm going to get these last few blocks on now I'm going to put a very small mix in because they're half a mix of all them yesterday all them and all them is half a mix so we'll do half a half which is obviously a quarter look at me and my maths right let's get cracking on I'm not going to say the uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to say the word because it, it won't happen. Um, we can try our best. Very funny. We did laugh. It's time to dive into the archive. And we're going to take a deeper dive than usual. Yes. Uh, quite literally. This is a clip from 1969. 1969. It's from Tomorrow's World, a program that features on a regular basis. When we dive into the BBC archive, it features three divers and a team of scientists pushing boundaries in a simulated 1,000 foot dive in Portsmouth. Interesting stuff. We got divers from Smith and one Austria. And the is a simulated depth of over 1,000 feet.
Joint up, tidy up, and then I've got a few bricks to patch in there. Go in. Trouble is, it's raining, so we'll see how the rain goes to patching.
Hello, it's me again. How you doing? Um, I've returned, as you can tell, from my little Valentine's getaway. But um, I've not done nothing. <laughs> I came obviously today. We was done like Dad's. Dad's done a bit of the finishing up on the uh, porch, and I went up on the scaffold and did all that patching that we talked about on the day one. That was about 11 bricks in total. So nothing too hard. Just a couple, two bucket, two hand mixers done. So Dad's just um, fixing up the last part now, but we can show you the finished product. How's that? I think uh, all things considered with the weather, Dad's done a great job with this. And obviously, looking at it from in here, look how much, uh, look how much more spacious it, is, spacious it is now. This is where it was. There you go. That's perfect, that. So happy days, and obviously once the once the roof is coming, all that'll be jobs are good in. Uh, Dad, Dad. That would have been awkward. But there we go. That is the porch finished. We had a lot of challenges with the weather, but we got there in the end. Well, Dad got there in the end. I uh, I buggered off. <laughs> but um, that will be the end of the porch. Right. We interrupt this outro that Alex is doing. This is a uh, future Steve back at the job. We've already started patching the pavers up. There's our brickwork and the roof's on. Lead's done. Looking good. Lintels are still in. There you go, the used lintel for the roof. And the angle eyes. I've got the uh, both got used anyway. That's where we couldn't get the one lintel. Yeah, made up with that. Very cool. That's it. I'll hand you back to um, Alex in the past. So here he comes. Well, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit, be sure to like. Uh, it's been a while since I've done this. Be sure to like the video. Thank you, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like. And if you're new to the channel, you want to subscribe. If you're new to the channel, you want to see more, hit subscribe. Then you'll always know when we upload. It's a massive help, and we appreciate the support. Any extra support you would wish to give, there's the super thanks under the video, or there's the link to Dad's PayPal in the description. Not necessary by any means, but greatly appreciated nonetheless. This has been Bricklaming Mostly Steve, and Alex is a guest star this time, and we will see you in the next one. Yeah.